feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gon' feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head I'm seeing Take me for granted and you know Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Chad, by the way, and I just want to take this moment to kind of express my gratitude. Thank you so much for following me, following the channel, following Wealth, Health, and Prosperity, and subscribing to the channel. It is very appreciative. I don't say that enough. I should say that in every single video, but when I do my videos, I like to get to the point. I like to jump right into the topic and try to save you some time. Some of my videos are long-winded. I have a lot of examples. I want you to get to know me as well. And Inside the videos even though maybe we, we might not meet in person but you feel like you kind of connect and you feel like you know me through examples and through my YouTube channel but thank you so much for following me thank you so much for subscribing and checking out wealth health and prosperity now at this point I just wanted to do a really really short presentation that what do I really mean by wealth health and prosperity and what does it really mean for you with wealth on the prosperity, it doesn't really mean what does wealth, health, and prosperity means to Chad. It really means what does this mean to you? What does wealth mean to you? What does health mean to you? What does prosperity mean to you? It's all about you at this point. Okay, you are in charge of your life. I'm not in charge of your life. You're not in charge of my life. Okay, so what does it mean to you? So that's when you have to sit back, relax, and really think what does wealth mean to you? Okay, wealth means to me something totally different what it means to you. Okay, your lifestyle is totally different from my lifestyle. Okay, but there are some basics I want to go over with you today. Now, when we think about wealth, health, and prosperity, think about it this way. There's four core groups here. Think about like piece of pie. Okay, that's why I have this piece of pie here. It's, it's in four little quadrants. Okay, and I try to pick kind of the four main groups. Okay, we, we could have picked eight groups. We could have picked 16 groups. There could be 100 groups. There could be subcategories out of each of these groups. So I know there's not just four, but bear with me here for a second. Okay, we have spirituality. Okay, we have, you know, that could be your religion. Okay, that, that could be your beliefs, what you believe in. We have your health. We have your finances, which is money. And we have relationships with this family. Okay, these are pretty much the four core. Okay, we have our health. We have money. We have relationships we're involved in. And we have some type of spiritual background that we either come from, how we were raised, or what we believe in today. So those are the four main groups. But maybe you might agree with me here. I'm not too sure. This is how I believe these four groups should be in a perfect world should relate to us. When we take all of them together, we're healthy in all areas of our lives. It's not just one area. We're healthy in all areas. Okay. We not, I'm sure maybe, maybe sometime in our life we've experienced this. I've experienced this. Sometimes we know other people that we can kind of point to and say, oh, that's this person, that's this person. Either we all know somebody that is, maybe they're not wealthy, but they're very well off. Maybe they're a doctor or they're an attorney, they make really good money, but their relationships are in shambles. <laughs> you know what I mean? Maybe someone has great, great relationships, but their finances are in shambles. Maybe somebody is crazy spiritual but they're in poverty. Make sense? Maybe somebody's super, super, super healthy, but their finances are in shambles. Maybe you're great at spirituality. You're great at your finances. You're great at your health, but your relationships suck. <laughs> you, know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? So it's really about mastering. It's really about mastering all areas of our lives and being healthy and wealthy and prosperous in all areas. That's what kind of what makes you have a great life, a healthy life, a prosperous life, and overall just be happy. That's what I truly believe. Now I want to kind of focus you in on, because I want to give you some examples here, and this is going to go really, really quick. We would go to the four core here, like spirituality, for example. With spirituality, it will have subcategories. It will have its own piece of pie, and these are some examples, their spirituality could be your beliefs, 
okay? Now, you could, you could come from a Christian background. You can come from a Catholic background. You could come from a Buddhist background, a Muslim background. Maybe you don't find yourself spiritual at all. You just believe in the universe and Mother Nature and universal laws. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter my background. I might put my background in there a little bit, but there's no judgment. And I'll give you an example really fast on this. I lived in Thailand for one year. I just got back. I've been back maybe about six months. Now, when I lived in Thailand, I lived in Patong, Phuket, Thailand for one year. And in Patong, Phuket, Thailand, there's two religions in Thailand. Okay, or two at least main religions in Thailand. Most Thai people are Buddhist. Okay, now on the other side of that, the second one is Muslim. So when I lived in Patong, most people were Muslim. Now, there are some Buddhists there, of course, but most people are Muslim. So when you went out to eat, for example, even on street food, okay, if you're Muslim, they don't eat pork. So you cannot find pork anywhere <laughs> because I'm, I was such in a Muslim community in Thailand. But there's two religions in Thailand that you're either Buddhist and I've been to the Buddhist temple. I went, my, my girlfriend is Thai. She's Buddhist. So I've, I've been been to the Buddhist temple and give merit and give merit for the dead and all that stuff that kind of comes with it. I don't judge. It's not how I was raised, but that makes her happy. That brings her happiness. So I'm not judging here at all. Okay. When we talk about spiritual. So, you know, if you're, if you get offended a little bit, it's, you know, there's no offense here. And it's just an example of, you know, what kind of is under the spirituality window. It could be your beliefs. Okay, do you follow some type of routine? Do you follow some type of daily practice or weekly practice? And all this kind of flips back to how does that relate to your relationships? Okay, and that kind of is a good transition point because when we go back to the four core, okay, our four core of spirituality, health, wealth, and relationships, okay, if we're weak in spirituality, if we don't really know what to believe, maybe we got hurt in the past, Okay, maybe we had a really bad breakup. Maybe maybe as we got a little bit older, we kind of had a falling out with our parents. Okay, and that's really affected us, affected us, you know, spirituality wise, spiritual wise. So we kind of hate hearing about spiritual stuff. We we can't stand it. Okay, but that for that right there, my friends, is going to affect other areas of your life. How you are in one area of your life is exactly how you're going to be in all areas. It's going to bleed over. Make sense? The negative and the positive is going to come over to other areas of your lives. That's how it works. Then the same thing for health. When we take out that piece of pie on health, health has its own little core thing. Now, there's many pieces that we could put under health, but these are just some examples here. Our mental health. You know, how mentally healthy are we? Do we get, do we have anxiety? Do we, do we suffer from not relaxing enough? Maybe we're overworked. Maybe, maybe we're a workaholic. You now, sometimes I fall under, under that category. Sometimes if I'm doing what I really love, I find myself where I'm just working, working, working. I'm not taking breaks. I find myself that I'm constantly mentally thinking and I feel mentally exhausted. Okay, sometimes it relates to physical. Now, are we in great physical health? It can relate to foods. You know, how healthy are we eating? How healthy are we staying in shape? You know, do we feel tired all the time? Stuff like that. And maybe health is kind of your, your to-go thing. Maybe in this area, you're superb. Okay, and that's great. But if you're superb, we have to relate it back to the four core again. Because no matter how we are in this group, it's going to it's going to translate, transfer over, and bleed over and blend into other areas of our lives. No matter if this is a positive or a negative, that's why I want you to get out of this a little bit. And finances. Now, finances is money. Okay, when you say finances, when you say wealth, sometimes people say wealth, health, and prosperity, and they just think it's all about money, but it's not. But finances right here is about money. You have a money piece of pie. Okay, now money, now when we go here, dude, we could we could talk about this side forever. Okay, how does finances affect your life? 
Do you love to travel? Now, on Wealth, Health, and Prosperity, on my YouTube channel, I do have international travel on there. I do have like Thailand stuff on there because I lived in Thailand and I started making videos how to do it, how to travel international because that falls under that quadrant here. That's why some of you go on my YouTube channel, you might think, well, he has, he has no Thailand stuff on that. What does that have to do with wealth, health, and prosperity? Well, it falls under that quadrant because that's what I like to do. That's what brings me joy, okay? Another thing, for example, could be personal development. You know, how much money do you invest in yourself? Do you invest in yourself learning new things? Lifestyle. What type of lifestyle do you want? What type of lifestyle? What's your dream lifestyle? Okay, do you, do you want your dream car, your dream house? Do you want to give the charities? I mean, what type of lifestyle do you do you really want? And this is all under financials. And of course, our financials, our wealth quadrant, our money quadrant relates back to the four core. Okay, now you got to think. Think here for a second. And maybe we've all been in this situation one time in our lives when our finances was crazy. Okay, our finances was it was like. You know, something hit me and it started a snowball effect and, I, and that snowball got bigger and bigger and bigger as it started rumbling down the mountain, <laughs> destroying everything in its path. I've been there. You know, it's not time for Chad to tell a story. So a story is for another time, okay, about Chad's life. Um, but anyway, if your finances are in, <laughs> are in shambles, you're not good at it. Maybe a circumstance happened that made it go all to whack. Well, it's going to affect the four core. It's going to affect other areas of your life. Now, for example, it could really affect your relationships. If you're married, it could affect your marriage. If you're in a serious relationship, it could affect that relationship if you don't have strong communication. Okay. And, and sometimes even when we talk about relationships, especially money, how you want to live may differ from how your spouse wants to live, may differ from how your significant other wants to live, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, how they want to live, okay? Because we all we all grow up differently. We all want the different things. And when, when we become an adult, you know, we have aspirations for our lives and those things are different lots of times. They might not want the same lifestyle as you. Then that could cause a conflict, okay? So you can, kind of, you can kind of relate and see how this affects other areas of your life. And lastly, relationships. We kind of, I kind of hit on relationships a lot here in the, in the last you know, couple of minutes, but relationships have its own little piece of pie here. Relationships can be marriage relationships, long-term, boyfriend, girlfriend, significant other. Maybe you're not legally married, but you live together. It's a serious relationship, okay? That dynamic is going to be different than if you have kids. If you have kids, you're a parent, you have a parental relationship, you know, that's a different dynamic than having a spouse. When you have friends, sometimes you, now friends can be layered in several groups. You have friends, you have acquaintances, you have best friends, you have best friends you tell, tell everything to. So those relationships are going to have different dynamics. And then the last one is acquaintances. What I mean by that is you go out and about, you run into people on the go. You don't really know them, but you run into them. You can have people you work for like that. You go to work, you don't really know them, but you just know, know them from work. Those are acquaintances. But it's the same thing. How does relationships affect your four core? If you have great relationships, well, that's going to affect positive other areas of your life. If you have lousy relationships, well, it's going to affect it as a negative. So what I want you to walk away here with is no matter where you are in the four core, no matter where you are spirituality, no matter where you are in your health, no matter where you are money-wise, no matter where you are relationship-wise, okay, it's going to affect positive or negative other areas of your life. Now, let me end with this. With wealth, health, and prosperity, what does this mean to you? This is what you have to figure out. This is your homework, my friends. What does it mean to you? And I'll leave you with that. Blessings to you, and I'll see you inside the channel.